Alrighty, today I will be showing you how to use Balloon Pop in Smart Notebook 11 to create um, elementary math lessons. Um, for those of you not familiar with Balloon Pop, it is um, a lesson activity page in Smart Notebook where students can actually um, come up to the Smart Board and pop balloons to figure out if they're correct or incorrect. Uh, this is just an example that Smart Notebook gives you uh, where students need to figure out which uh, words are verbs. And what they do is they click on the balloon and it pops and it tells you if your word is correct or incorrect. So jump is a verb, so it got to check. Uh, let's go ahead and try apple. Okay, so students popped the incorrect balloon and they could tell that they were not correct. Um, like I said, we are going to be creating a lesson using these balloons um, that can be used in the elementary mathematics classroom. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to open your Smart Notebook 11 and um, just start out with a blank page. Um, you will go over, and the easiest way to do it is just to type into the search box, um, balloon pop, and it's saved since I've typed it before and search. Okay, and then what you're going to do is click down here on the notebook files and pages. These are sort of already created pages that you just add the content to. Okay, and there's only one option there, it's balloon pop, so I'm going to double click. Okay, and it automatically adds it and fills up the entire page. Uh, it co comes with this verb lesson, and what we're going to do today is edit it for the math classroom. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the question here by double clicking and erasing. And I'm going to do which of these numbers are odd for when we are working with odd and even numbers. All right, so we can keep uh, the press the balloons to pop them. That instruction um, can stay up there. Uh, the first thing you need to know about editing these balloons is that um, you can't just click on the text to edit them. If you click on the text to edit them, it will think that you're clicking them to find the answer, um, and that's not what you want to do. So this little double arrow right here that you see on each balloon will kind of put the balloons in editing mode. So I click that. And you'll notice that it turns to sort of like a solid um, blue color, and all of them will do that. That solid blue color means that you can um, edit your text now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my word, and I'm going to change jump to the number 11. Um, now, as far as revealing the answers, uh, the answers are actually behind the balloon, so what you'll have to do is you will um, kind of just move the balloon out of the way for a second, and we're going to change jump here to the number 11, and move it over here, and move it back. So. That, um, and if I click again on my double arrows, now I'm back, we can click, and again, students can see that the number 11 is odd. Um, you can change uh, whether a number is, um, whether a number is uh, correct or incorrect by um, just changing this check to an X. Um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it's easier than switching out and changing the X that's under this one. So I'm just going to leave the correct ones correct and incorrect ones not. So we will do that. Switch it back to popping mode. And I'm just going to go ahead and change this one to, um, let's do an even number, so 50. Okay. Again. I will um, move it out of the way, change apple to 50, and center it above my X, and put it back, and back to popping mode. 
Um, so what I'm just going to go ahead and do is uh, continue for the rest of the page. So I went ahead and I changed um, all the rest of the balloons uh, for different numbers. So now um, students can go ahead and click to pop the balloons and uh, to figure out if they are even or odd. Um, this is a really good activity to use uh, for a whole group or just sort of like a review instruction. Um, it's really engaging, especially for the primary grade. Students love coming up, tapping the balloon, and hearing the uh, different sounds or the popping sound that the balloons make. So now what I would like you to do is to start a new page. Uh, search and find balloon pop. And I would like you to create a page that asks which of these numbers are even. Um, so what you'll do is uh, go ahead and edit each balloon like I showed you, edit the answers, and then you will have your own smart book page where students um, need to identify even numbers.